So today is my second day of taking my metformin. I've been having a lot of stomach cramping. I don't know if that's from the metformin. Meow. Uh, made myself some egg beaters, mushrooms, ham, and some cheese. Um, I don't think that's any carbs. Um, so I'm going to eat this and then... I don't know, find something with some carbs in it. It's hard for me because I've never been a big carb person to begin with, so. I don't know. I gotta find something. Morning. Kevin's having his famous breakfast. Yeah. Rice crispy treats and coffee. We ended up not taking Boomer to the vet yesterday because. The vet said we should bring him in when his eye is actually dilated so he can see what the problem is. And his eye is perfectly fine right now. So, um, our vet is very, very good at when we call him in the morning to get us in that same day. So, we're just going to get up every morning and check his eye. And if it's dilated, we're going to call over and... Um, they'll have us bring them in that day. So, Boomer, how was your trip outside? How long were you outside? Not talking? Huh? Had us scared. Had your mommy scared. She was not happy. She was not happy. Uh, yeah. I know. So, Boomer, how did you get out? You had us freaked out. We went. Fair, we thought you sprung Mojo and uh, Mama. Mama, huh? Look at this jealous song. Hey guys, huh? I just woke up from taking a nap. And I've been having some weird feelings since I've started taking the metformin. And I told Kevin how I'm feeling and he looked it up. And I have to stop taking it because I'm having an allergic reaction to it. Which is partly why doctor, uh, want, my main doctor didn't want to put me on any medications. Because I have such an, a reaction to so many things. So, um, I'm going to try and eat something, but my throat is very, very tight. It feels like it was closing up, so I took some Benadryl right away, and let's see if I can eat. So, catch y'all later. So, what have you been doing while I was sleeping? Uh, dealing with um, the EDD, making sure I'm going to get my next check. I've been looking for a job and looking at my resume some more and uh, watching Night on the, of the Living Dead which happens to be on Chiller right now. Ooh, cool. I woke up just in time to watch a good movie. Yep. Did you want to watch it from the beginning? If we do that, we might as well put it in. We can do that. Okay. This is the one where they say they're coming to get you, Barbara. 
so Val stopped taking the metformin. To, uh, she took it this morning. She's not going to take it this afternoon or this evening, I should say. Uh, she seems to be allergic to it. We looked up some of the side effects that she's suffering from right now. And again, it's the, the ones where they say contact your doctor immediately if you start these uh, uh, side effects. Boomer. Uh, she, her, she was having difficulty breathing and her throat was starting to swell, which is signs of uh, being allergic. So. No more. We're going to tell the doctors that she seems to be okay, but we're not going to take any more. Hey, we're filming over here. <laughs> what do you want Freckles to do for you? I don't know, Freckles. So guys, I just finished getting shout outs together. I wasn't going to do it because I wasn't feeling that good, but I still have to do it. It helps me to feel better to make you guys laugh. So <laughs> I got the shout outs together. Um, Kevin told you a little bit about the metformin. Um, I took a nap today. Well, yesterday I started taking it and um, after my first pill, I got really, really itchy, and um, Kevin looked, and that was one of the side effects. And a lot of the times, I have an allergic reaction to medications. The doctor says, you know, if it's just the itching, just take it. Your body might just need time to adjust. So I took some Benadryl, and I took the second one last night, and I took the my third one, half of one this morning because I take a half. I took the one this morning and I was itchy still and I, um, I I just didn't feel right. I felt very achy all over and very lethargic and my throat just started hurting, like feeling very tight. And I went and I lay down and I um, called Kevin and I asked him, I said, can you look up the medicine again and tell me what some of the other side effects are? So let me tell you how I'm feeling. And he looked it up and he says, you got to stop taking it. So right now, um, I didn't take my evening one, but my throat feels tight. It feels like it's burning a little bit. Um, nothing Benadryl's <laughs> not going to be able to handle. I took some earlier. I'll take some more tonight. Um, but one of the other things, I know there's a lot of people out there that take metformin. Um, some people have said that they had issues with it. Um, one of the other thing is my skin feels sore to the touch. My hair follicles feel sore to the touch. And I don't know if that's something. Um, my muscles in my neck and everything, it, it, I just hurt. I feel like everything is swollen. <coughs> including my throat and I just don't feel right my eyes are all watery and burning and I just I don't know if this has happened to anybody else out there who has taken metformin um, let me know just kind of curious hey everybody it's time for neighborhood community shout out and I made a boo-boo last night. It was his fault because he told me how to say it and it was wrong. And you all know me. I can't be wrong. Rudy D13 RD. He said his name wrong last night. So, Rudy D13 RD, shout out to you. Welcome to the neighborhood. All you guys need to go check out his channel. He's got an awesome channel. I've been watching some of his videos. So, Go by and check him out. We're going to leave a link to his channel down below. It's Chris and Johnson. Chris and Johnson. Welcome to the neighborhood. You asked how do you get to be in the neighborhood community and how do you get me to welcome you to the neighborhood community? Well, you just did it. All you have to do is sub to our channel and leave a message, a comment on one of our blogs and we will welcome you to the neighborhood, and we will welcome you to the neighborhood 
on the vlog the next day. So, there you go, Kristen. So, when are you going to do that? Kristen Johnson, welcome to the neighborhood. I think I did it, but now I just did it again. I like screwing her up. Dawn Rambles. She's got two channels. She's already welcomed from the first channel, but Dawn Rambles, welcome to the neighborhood on this channel. Otaki? Is that a U? Is that? I think it's a U. Otaku seti. Otaku. Otak. What? <laughs> Otaku seti. Otaku seti. If we got it wrong, Michael, stop. If we got it wrong, let me know. You know I'll fix it. Otaku seti. Welcome to the neighborhood. Michael. O three one four eight four. Yes, we are still going to do the tattoo video. Yes. At the end of this month, however, I've lost a lot of people's tattoo emails. I don't know where they've gone. I don't know where a lot of stuff has gone. So, if you sent me it, I do have a lot of people still. If you sent me it, send me a message telling me where you sent it. And I'll let you know if I got it. If not, resend it. Just to play it safe, best places to send it is the neighbors kvm at yahoo.com or a private message on Twitter. Those are the two best places that you can send it to me. And we want to give another shout out to Tucker Zone. He's been following us for oh, what, a few weeks now? Yes. A few weeks now. And he leaves a comment on every single one of our vlogs. But I did not know he had a channel. Kevin knew, but I didn't subscribe to it. I'm so very sorry. I just subscribed to it tonight. Just watched a couple of his videos. He's a musician. You guys need to go by his channel and check out some of his videos. He's amazing. Tucker Zone. All together, one word. I will also leave a link to his channel down below. So go by and check out Tucker Zone. And that's all I have, and it's about every two to three days, I always love to give a shout out to Mom's Vlog 80. All you new people out there, if you don't know who I'm talking about, please go check out her channel. She is a mother um, of a young boy fighting neuroblastoma cancer. Go check out Mom's Vlog 80. There's links there to donate. There's links there to buy t-shirts to help support um, their financial situation. There's a mother and father. They're living in separate places because they have two sons. One has to stay in school. The other one's going through chemotherapy. Long story, but go on their channel, watch their videos, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, donate if you can, purchase a shirt, whatever you can do, show them some love. Really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. It's time for Neighborhood Community credit roll and y'all know what that means this is the only time he's allowed to touch my book I'll touch your book whenever I want to touch your book I don't think so 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 yesterday's trivia question was from the exorcist 1974 yeah 1974 can you turn your neck all over your head all around okay what kind of soup was used for the projectile vomit in the movie? Anderson's split pea soup. Apparently the Campbell stuff didn't work out so well. So. Wasn't thick enough. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'd want that on me either. But, uh, and those who got it, we got quite a few. First one to get it was Terry Johnson. He's up in the middle of the night. 3.40 a.m. Second was Bambi S, then Tanya Longley, then Greg Myers, um, The Abyss 92882, and Native, no, did I miss somebody? The Abyss 92882, Susie here, then Native King. All right, this is gonna be on the 1974 Toby Hooper movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I actually have two questions I wanna ask for this one. What was what was it loosely based on? What real event? event? 
and person and or person was it based on. The other one is a little harder, but I think it's fun. What kind of chainsaw was used in this movie? <laughs> it was a Texas chainsaw! <laughs> anyway, there you have it. There's your two-part question for the trivia tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here tonight if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. We will see you all tomorrow. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo. Paranormal investigations with the neighbors. I don't have those things on. You have to talk to your fans. <laughs> talk. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo. Paranormal investigations with the neighbors. It's a blizzard. <laughs> That's not a blizzard, that's a hurricane. Oh, okay, hurricane! <laughs> now, you're messing up my total I gotta start all over now. You totally messed me up. Okay. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. <laughs> anyway, we love you all, <laughs> and we'll see you all tomorrow. I don't know if I said it all right or not, but love you, bye! Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm gonna get my heart in. <laughs> <laughs>